In the rapidly evolving landscape of technological breakthroughs within artificial intelligence, the rise of NVIDIA and OpenAI as key players in the industry have been nothing short of remarkable. As OpenAI garners billions in investments from Microsoft and NVIDIA soars to new heights, capturing the attention of investors and tech enthusiasts alike, a stealthy addition to Elon Musk's repertoire has emerged, a new company known as X.AI. While it's still in its early stages, what's clear is that Elon Musk's companies, including Tesla and Twitter, have been buying up NVIDIA graphics cards hand over fist. Tesla itself is already positioned as a real-world AI company, working towards solving full self-driving as its current primary objective in the space. However, the arrival of X.AI hints at a potentially audacious and unconventional bet promising to further intertwine the worlds of AI and Tesla in a way that propels the electric vehicle maker into unlocking an additional multi-hundred billion dollar business. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. The thinking behind Elon Musk creating an AI company originally stemmed from early conversations with Google founder Larry Page, where Elon Musk was concerned about the potential risks and impacts that AI could have on society if it were developed without proper oversight. He didn't feel that Larry Page was doing enough to mitigate this risk. And so along with multiple other founders, Elon Musk started OpenAI to research and advance artificial intelligence in an open and responsible manner. He plowed on the order of 50 to 100 million dollars into the company as a donation to this non-profit firm, and also convinced chief AI scientist Ilya Sutskever to join the company, who became instrumental to its success. The original goal of the non-profit was to counter Google's deep mind, which controlled the majority of AI talent in the space, and to further democratize the development of AI Although Elon Musk didn't think the company would stand a chance against Google, but it was worth a shot. Shockingly, however, OpenAI surprised to the upside and became wildly successful with the launch of ChatGPT, seemingly even leaving the almighty Google struggling to keep up. This quickly led to the non-profit transforming itself into a closed for-profit company, secured by a $10 billion investment from Microsoft whom Elon Musk believes now has tremendous control over the company that he initially founded to democratize AI. Elon Musk parted ways with the company years earlier, in 2018, citing conflicts of interest between Tesla and OpenAI, which were fighting over talented engineers and scientists. Now, at the recent Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon Musk put much of this blame on himself with regards to the direction of OpenAI and also saying this matter related to the advancement of AI is really what stresses him out at night. In an interview with CNBC, he admitted that he had been the total idiot here with regards to the initial funding for the company. Now to be fair, OpenAI did indeed catch up and perhaps surpass Google in some key areas, which Elon Musk didn't at all expect, since after all they were up against Google which was massive, had and has deep pockets, and already controlled significant talent and resources in the field of artificial intelligence. But a large benefit of OpenAI that wouldn't have existed without Elon Musk is that he still created a second strong player in the space to compete with Google. And it's also inspired many startups and even larger industry juggernauts like Apple and Meta to focus more heavily on AI, which indeed spreads the power of this technology away from just a single company. But this by far isn't enough for Elon Musk to not keep himself awake at night, as he believes he made a grave mistake by starting OpenAI and not being able to oversee the direction of the company, which he believes may have gotten out of hand. That's why just a few months ago, he founded a new AI company called X.AI Corp. Now X.AI is still in its infancy with no real public roadmap for the company. What we do know is that Elon Musk wants a third horse in this race to counter the likes of Google DeepMind and Microsoft OpenAI. The $50 million in seed funding that Elon Musk originally provided to OpenAI 
is a tiny drop in the bucket, as Elon could easily give X.ai all of the financial resources it needs. However, it's not just about money. As Elon Musk has said, if it were not for Ilya Sutskever, the chief scientist at OpenAI, and a highly cited engineer in the field, joining, he wouldn't have invested into OpenAI. And so the talent is really what matters, but given Elon's track record, his connections, and the aforementioned resources he has, it's very possible that his new company, X.AI, becomes successful at tackling new, difficult problems that Elon Musk or the engineers of the company intend to research and develop. Now, Tesla is actually one of the leaders in the space, focused right now on real-world AI vision. But the advancement of X.AI could become very important for Tesla. Although it seems like the companies are unrelated, during a recent Wall Street Journal interview with Elon Musk, he was asked if X.AI is something that would interact with the data of Twitter and the capabilities of Tesla to combine the knowledge of these companies to create this third major AI player. To which Elon Musk responded that he doesn't want to jump the gun on announcements, but he believes that the relationship between OpenAI and Microsoft is working very well, and he says it's possible that X.AI would have something similar with Twitter and Tesla. And so linking these three companies together could be a massive value creator, just as it is for OpenAI and Microsoft. Microsoft is simply integrating parts of OpenAI into all of its products to enhance the company's offerings, and Elon Musk could do the same with X.AI, Twitter, and Tesla, and take it even further. All of Elon's companies already help each other out in some way or another. In terms of helping Tesla, for instance, SpaceX technology has helped debug and solve issues in Tesla vehicles in the past. Twitter is an advertising powerhouse for Tesla. The Boring Company is building networks of tunnels where currently only Teslas can drive in them. Tesla has also given back by providing some engineers to delve into the software at Twitter when Elon took over the company. Tesla was actually the primary source of funding for the purchase to begin with. The Boring Company has purchased motors and other equipment from Tesla, and Tesla and SpaceX share a special materials division. Starlink systems are used at superchargers to provide connectivity and Wi-Fi access no matter where the charger is located, and they're even collaborating on the SpaceX package for the new Roadster. And so the companies are all interleaved and help each other out. An engineer with an idea can move between Elon Musk's companies and implement it where it's most needed. And this is a unique characteristic that increases the value of each of these companies. Tesla and X.AI can help boost each other as well. For one thing, Tesla has been developing full self-driving, and they have AI talent, and the company could help give X.AI a leg up in quickly catching up with OpenAI in terms of helping to set up the infrastructure for the company. On the flip side, X.AI may turn out to be a company that does research on AI exactly like OpenAI, and as they build out a strong talent team, long term they can help Tesla better solve complex problems with new research findings, but also develop AI-based applications that can run on Tesla products. For instance, Tesla's developing the Optimus robot, and so X.AI could create software and apps for the robot which would fit both companies very well. We can already see that something like OpenAI's ChatGPT could be the human communication layer for a robot or even a car. But making something like ChatGPT is not really part of Tesla's core mission or competencies, nor something they should allocate resources to. But it might make a lot more sense for an X.AI to develop this to free up resources at Tesla to focus on real-world vision instead of chat applications. This aligns better for a research company like X.AI. Another example might be image generation. This might not make any sense for Tesla to devote resources to. But in the future, someone may ask the Tesla Optimus robot to draw a picture where this might come in useful. And so being able to tap into a suite of AI technology from X.AI could be useful for enhancing Tesla products and integrating with them, which could have tremendous long-term benefits for increasing quality and bettering the user experience. Curiously, Elon Musk also recently tweeted about his envy around the company NVIDIA, which indeed derives its name from the Latin word for envy. But he's been tweeting a lot about NVIDIA lately, hinting that Tesla will be moving into this realm of building chips for crunching machine learning algorithms. 
Tesla has been developing the Dojo supercomputer, which is a hardware device that will accelerate the speed of AI computing. Since the time Elon Musk first announced that Tesla was working on this, it seemed like he was going back and forth on if it was worthwhile or not, making the case that it needed to be better than a data center full of graphics cards. A few months after Dojo's announcement, Tesla shareholders had been wondering if the company was even using it. And Elon Musk made a sort of comment along the lines of, if the AI team tells me that they want to use it, then we'll use it, which wasn't really a big vote of confidence for the new technology, especially since Tesla already has multiple data centers filled with tens of thousands of NVIDIA graphics cards. And so Dojo would need to significantly outperform this in terms of speed and cost for Tesla to invest so much into this initiative. And so although Tesla outlined a plan to massively outperform the NVIDIA equivalent, they weren't really there yet, and Elon Musk seemed to be flip-flopping on whether it was needed. But at Tesla's AI Day 2 last year, something changed. They discussed their advancements in Dojo, including a 10 times improvement in the cost of training, and just from observation it seemed like Elon Musk had increased the priority and urgency of this hardware product. Now during Tesla's first quarter conference call this year, Elon Musk stated that he viewed Dojo as a long shot bet that could pay off potentially in a very big way, like multi hundred billion dollar level he says. And we've seen Nvidia stock skyrocketing this year to a trillion dollar market cap on the back of excitement over AI and big investments from large companies. Now Elon Musk tweeted that Nvidia may not be a monopoly on training and inference forever, again alluding to what Elon is seeing in terms of Tesla's development of Dojo. Investment firm ARK Invest also notes that various large tech companies have begun making their own AI chips including Tesla. And in a tweet by John Ehrlichman, which shows the top performing stocks as of the end of May, with Nvidia being in the lead way ahead of Tesla, Elon Musk replied for now, hinting at the intention that Tesla is working on applications like full self-driving and hardware like Dojo that could change this narrative if the bet plays out. If Nvidia is being given a premium valuation for its prowess in chips and machine learning, then Tesla's initiatives embedded within a conglomerate of tech startups making it more difficult to see directly, may still mean the company has much more up its sleeves than people think. Elon Musk has repeatedly likened Dojo to the dominant Amazon Web Services or AWS, which doesn't directly make a lot of sense because AWS has hundreds of different features which would not at all be related to Tesla's core business and is not something that Tesla wants to get into. But putting these pieces together, there's no reason why Tesla's Dojo can't act similar to a single AWS suite centered around AI tools and machine learning where companies connect to Tesla's Dojo servers, give it access to their data and AI training models, and then use Tesla services to quickly train models, test them, make adjustments, and repeat to iterate much faster than any alternative. If Tesla can achieve a 10x performance boost in cost benefits, moving from weeks to days in training speed then technically companies can move 10 times faster than their competitors in developing AI-based applications. This goes back to X.AI, which could be a prime customer of the Dojo infrastructure and using it to catch up or to surpass OpenAI, and then applying those results in a feedback loop to potentially advance Tesla's products. Now companies like Tesla aren't making these big investments in AI without anticipating some future return on their capital. Brett Winton of ARK Invest roughly estimates that tens of billions of dollars being dumped into AI chip investments implies future AI software revenue in the hundreds of billions. And this sort of lines up with Elon's statement about Dojo being a long shot bet for Tesla, where currently the groundwork is being laid as a platform to enable innovation in the AI space to flourish and eventually make its way into useful and highly practical real world solutions. So do you think that Tesla's side business of creating its own machine learning accelerator chips will eventually pay off in the hundreds of billions? And in what current or future Tesla products do you see AI-based software being used for practical consumer applications? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's game-changing supercharger partnerships. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.